Okay, it's okay, okay, okay. I'll do it. Uh, well, don't worry. It won't hurt. Oh, I hate lying to babies. Here we are, little Luke. You have a big special badge. That's it. Oh. I started. What the hell are you doing here? I started. Not yet, you haven't, so out. I'm going to have a baby. I know that, I'm a doctor, but you're not having it yet. If you don't mind, so out. I don't want you, I want another doctor. Snell. Uh, uh, oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> it's supposed to be non stick. Oh, so, deal with this lady, please. What? No, no, I can't. You'll be all right, won't you, Mr. Wary? Drink five. I don't want you either. Snell, just get her what she wants and get her out of here. I want the dark-haired one. Which one? We got dozens. The one with the flashy red sports car. She means Collier. That's the one. Well, you can't have him. Leave him. <laughs> Dr. Collier. I want Dr. Collier. So this woman swore blind to him she was on the pill. Which technically she was, and they weren't birth control pills, they were hormone pills. <laughs> She ended up having sex tuplets. He had to marry her. I tell you, it could happen to any of us. You could get struck off for what you're thinking. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, anyway, Dick, it is not going to happen to me. It will if you insist on behaving like a cross between Warren Beatty and a rabbit. Yeah. I was going to talk to you about this, Dick. I'm thinking of having a... Oh, damn. Good idea. Well, really? Yeah, uh, uh, I'll talk to you later. Yes. <laughs> Oh, uh, yes, you bleat, Mr. Collier. It started. Oh, good. It started. For heaven's sake, what is going on? Baby Snell, one of nature's miracles, and one with which I intend to maintain a purely professional relationship. Now, what did you bleat me for? That's him. That's the one. Collier, this lady is pregnant. Yes, yes, I think I'd go along with that. Excellent diagnosis, Dr. Snell. But always wise to seek a second opinion, I agree. She says you're the father. What? Oh, in trouble now, holding on. Well, I knew it would happen the way you carry on. If you were a cat, they'd send you to the vet and have you see to. Is this lady? Oh, Collier, please. No, Lionel, I don't know if I'm at it. Where Lionel! Is Where it's is she? Where is she? It's Jack! Yes, Mr. Malone, Mr. Malone. How many times has it started this month? 26. I want the father to be present. Well, it certainly isn't me, madam. I don't know where you got this Paul, idea Paul, from. Paul, 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 this lady's had five children. Six. Yeah. Now, as I recall, uh, Professor Stuart Clark, father of the first one, the next two are mine. Back to Stuart Clark with the twins, another one from me, and the next one is yours. We're all in this together. Mass responsibility. <laughs> She's nuts for the fertile with it. So who is the father? I don't know. I don't think she does either. Poor bloody things. Duncan, I've been thinking. Can I have a word with you? Yeah, sorry, not now. Catch me this evening. Okay. Let's get you a taxi. I'm not going. I know it'll happen. With all these cutbacks, I'll come back and you won't have a bed for me. I'm staying here to make sure I get one. Mmm. Not as mad as I thought. Welcome to the world. What's it like being out here, eh? Hmm? Right, now, where is Rosie? Hand up. Ah! There you are. Now, I know you didn't want to come out the way you did, but it had to be done. You got all tangled up in your cord, didn't you? What were you doing in there, eh? <laughs> Skipping or something, eh? <laughs> anyway, you won't remember a thing about it. I promise you. <laughs> Actually, caesareans tend to be calmer. And they're a lot better looking, too. <laughs> yes, they are. Much better looking than Mr. Turnip over here. <laughs> Mind you, you wouldn't remember Mr. Turnip, would you? 
or whirly gig, or muffin the mule. They were all on children's television when I was well, your age. <laughs> Long before Ninja Turtles or Timmy Mallet. <laughs> boy, oh boy, you've got tough times ahead of you, haven't you? I tell you, it's only just begun. <laughs> all right, finish. <laughs> yeah, <come on. laughs> You get by with a little help from your friends. Oh, you can try with a little help from your friends. Everybody, if you need somebody, you just want someone to love. <laughs> and I think you lot will be all right for that. Duncan, I'm going to have a vasectomy. Shh. <laughs> I am. I'm definitely going to have a vasectomy. Shut up. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yes. Not in front of them. It's all right. He doesn't mean it. It's just the ravings of a menopausal gigolo. I do mean it. It's all right. You don't have to cry. You're already here. Are you really serious? Yes, yes. I, I spoke to Dick and he thinks I should. In fact, he's going to do it for me. A special favour. A cut price, eh? <laughs> the thing is, Duncan, I, I wanted to talk to you about it, you know, to make sure I'm definitely doing the right thing. Not Cheers. another bloody boy. <laughs> Actually, I think you're a bit late. I know that voice. Yeah. Well, this time she had started and she's finished. Congratulations. You've just become a daddy. In her mind, anyway. Listen, I am not going to become a daddy in anybody's mind or anywhere else. I am definitely going to have the snip. Yes, I shall put a notice in the Times saying, Sorry, girls. From now on, Mr. Paul Collier can never, ever father your children. Oh, my goodness me. That'll be a big disappointment to half the bimbos in London, won't it? Bimbos. That's a bit passe. Well, so are you. <laughs> I do not go out with bimbos. Yes, you do. I don't. Oh, say you do, please. It's the only consolation us married men have. <laughs> if I thought they were intelligent as well, I couldn't stand it. Do you really envy me? No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I suppose if you're with them, yes. And if you're not with them, well, it must be pretty lonely stuff, huh? <coughs> Hanging around at singles bars and discos like some geriatric John Travolta. I do not hang around singles bars. Don't you? I don't. Mm. I've always wanted to. Sounds quite fun. No, well, I honestly couldn't imagine life without this lot. <laughs> Why do they always look like Winston Churchill? <laughs> I'm sorry, Duncan, but I just have no paternal instincts. That's because you don't have any soul, Paul. What do you mean, soul? Well, it's like Louis Armstrong said about rhythm. If you gotta ask, you ain't got it. Yeah. <laughs> well, all I know is I wouldn't want to be a father. Uh, you might if you met the right woman. Oh, come on. <laughs> Me? Three times married, three times divorced, and fat chance. What could happen tomorrow? I mean, you could be loitering around some sleazy singles bar. Duncan. Well, loitering across a crowded room. <laughs> Suddenly, she sees you. Bing! Oh, Paul, I want you to be father of my child. Sorry, love. No longer possible. <laughs> You'd have to get a surrogate in. Mind you, I suppose if she's pretty, I'll do the job for you. No, thank you. I don't want one of your brats. My kids are all right. Yes, this is rather a lot of them. Ah, they're lovely. You know, you come here a lot, don't you? Especially at night. Yeah. Why? Gets me away from home. Oh, you'll never guess. Paul's decided to have a vasectomy. He's persuaded Dick to do it. Cut price. <laughs> Actually, he's trying to persuade me to have one, too. Daddy, what's a vasectomy? <laughs> now, you know the rules. I have to ask if you've really thought about what this means and if you're absolutely certain you really want it done. I have to ask you, Duncan, and your partner, Geraldine, and you, Paul, I presume you have got no particular partner at the moment? Well, um, no. <laughs> well, I know this is rather silly when I know perfectly well what your answer is going to be, but nevertheless it has to be done. So, are you sure? Yes, no, I'm yes. not. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Well, I am. Well, 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 I'm not. It was just that I got talked into it by him. And by me. 
It so happens that Paul and I agree about the principles of this thing. And I'm grateful for the advice. Not at all. Pr principles? What principles? I mean, you tell us why you want to have it done. Well, um... Uh, I take it you are certain, Paul? Oh, yes, yes. Um, well, I don't want to add to the world's overpopulation, oh. and I want to do my bit for the environment. Well, you could try not doing your bit occasionally. And I don't think the woman should always have to take the responsibility. Exactly. Thank you, Paul. You mean you don't want to face up the responsibility of another human being? Duncan! Well, he just wants to bunk bimbo. Oh, Duncan! Yeah. <laughs> this is one of the rare times I've heard Paul ever say anything responsible and unselfish. And he, even if he is being two-faced and entirely hypocritical, if you apply his argument to us, he's right. Huh. Thank you. It wasn't a compliment. But the fact is, Duncan, I do not want any more children. End of subject. If I'd had my way, I wouldn't have had this many in the first place. Well, I suppose that was my fault. Well, you know perfectly well, Daisy, was an accident. But you forgot. Uh, Dick, uh, this is family stuff. I think I'd better leave. Yes, me too. No, you're supposed to be counselling us. Yes, and you've sat through enough of our family rows. You can jolly well sit through this one. Especially since you caused it. I mean, this is brilliant, this is. I mean, he comes round for some friendly advice. I try to, to persuade him not to have it done. The two of them gang up against me and suddenly I'm the one having the vasectomy. No, not just you. Us. Both of us. We'll go through this together. Not at the same time, of course. <laughs> I mean, I'm good, but I don't think I can handle that. <laughs> All those. Ah, uh, you know, that's another thing, too. I mean, let's be honest, eh? Yeah, well, good idea. Well, you know, I, it's not that I'm a doctor, but I, well, I mean, <clears throat> well, I, I just don't like the idea of somebody rummaging around down there, you know? <laughs> Especially me, you mean. Duncan, I can recommend another surgeon, if you wish. Oh, no, no, no. If it's got to be done, I'd rather like you to do it. Yes, so would I. Oh, mm. thank you. But the, the idea of actually being... God. <laughs> Duncan, you're not squeamish, are you? Well, uh, yes, as a matter of fact, I am. Uh, you know, about that, it's a bit silly, but... Um... Duncan, Paul, I can assure you it does not hurt. Well, that's not going to help, is it? I mean, doctors always say that. I mean, I'm a doctor, too. I say it all the time. Don't worry, that's not going to hurt. How do I know? How did I say it's a woman about to give birth to a baby? Don't worry, it won't hurt. Of course it bloody hurts. It does. <laughs> I mean, you haven't had a vasectomy, have you? Certainly not. Emma wouldn't want me to. Well, then how can you tell me it doesn't hurt? The vasectomy doesn't. How do you know? Because all my patients tell me so. They say when I do it, they hardly feel a thing. Well, it doesn't bother me. See, Duncan, it doesn't bother Paul. Oh, all right. All right. I'll do it. No. I'll do it. <laughs> We'll all do it. Together. How sweet. <laughs> Splendid. Well, now that's all settled. Who's for a spot of lunch? Ooh, love yes, it. Love Stop it. it. Come on, Dumps. Yes, well, he'll have to take a little test in a few weeks' time, but uh, if everything goes to plan, bingo. Mm. But does it hurt? No, no, it really doesn't. No. No, it's really quite a simple operation. Would you like me to explain? Oh, yes, please. Right. Now, this, um... <laughs> This is the, um... Sausage? <laughs> yes, that's right. And, um... <clears throat> uh, it's all right. I've seen a sausage before. Yes. Yes, right. Now, look. These are the, um... Potatoes. Potatoes, yes. Now, the vas itself isn't actually in the, um... Sausage. No, no. It's located down here somewhere. Somewhere down... It's a sort of vein, really. Ah. With some people, it's really quite difficult to locate. You've got to rummage around a little bit. Um, it doesn't hurt, but it can be a little bit, uh, you know. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah. Anyway, once you've located it, the vein, that is, yeah. it's really quite simple. You just inject a little local anaesthetic here, a little slip there, a <laughs> couple of stitches, spray on the old plastic skin, all neat, tidy and painless. And not one drop of tomato ketchup spilled. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I suppose you're going to have a final fling before we enter these dark days of enforced celibacy. Well, I dare say I shall flick through my address book and uh, arrange a symbolic farewell. I mean, why waste the evening? Mm -hmm. Ah, singles clubs. Hi. Um, uh, look, 
Ayah. Ayah. Oh, bugger. Sorry. No, don't go. Hang on a minute. Uh, you believe Mr. Collier? No, no, no. Tomorrow morning. Did a woman pass you just now? Yeah. But Sal, she always comes about this time. Did you want her? Yes, definitely. Sal! Sal! The doctor wants a word. <laughs> yes, doctor, you want it there? Yes, um, that bin he's emptying. Oh, the other one. Oh, the other one. Yes. Oh, she'll be going to see Professor Stuart Clark. How do you know? Oh, reporters know most things, sir. She's desperate to have a baby. Apparently, it might not be possible. Uh, I don't believe in all that gynecological stuff. Any woman can have a baby. Just needs to meet the right man. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, if you'd like to just put your clothes on the table, Mr. Patterson, I'll be with you in a few minutes. Yes, Paul, was there something? Uh, no. No, nothing, nothing. Sorry, Dick. <laughs> Stupid bloody porter. Anesthetic, please, nurse. If you say just a little prick, I'll have you struck off. <laughs> Doug, really, give me credit. Right, here we go. Just a little prick. <laughs> sorry, sorry, years of having to distract nervous patients. Well, by telling them stupid old doctor's jokes. Yes, well, I'm a stupid old doctor. Oh, no! My arm's gone numb. You've overdone the anaesthetic. No, 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 you're just hyperventilating. It's quite normal. It's because you're feeling a little edgy. Well, I know that. I'm a doctor, too. Anyway, cut the distraction routine and cut whatever else you have to. I have. What? It's done. That was it? Yes. That's brilliant. Thank you. And the stitches. That's incredibly good. Yes, so my patients tell me. They also tell me that this is perhaps the least pleasant part. Oh, no. Now, don't worry, Duncan. It'll be cold at first, and then it may sting a little bit. But, of course, you know about that, don't you? Yeah, but knowing it doesn't stop it hurt. Hurt! <laughs> right. Next, please. You'll notice I resisted the temptation of saying just a little prick, which proves I am indeed a surgeon. Thank you, nurse. Thank you, nurse. She's desperate to have a baby. Just needs to meet the right mum. She's desperate to have a baby. Baby, 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 baby. Stop, Dick! <laughs> well, that's one way of putting it, yes. <laughs> no, I don't want you to do it. Now, now, Paul. Duncan wasn't quite so coy as this. If you want another surgeon, I'll... Nurse, see if... No, Mr. no, no, uh, I, I don't want it at all. Paul, I can assure you this bit doesn't hurt. I can't say the same about the spread. Dick, Dick, I've changed my mind. I really don't want it. Oh. Good job it was only a local anaesthetic, isn't it? <laughs> no, listen. I assure you I have not taken on any new female patients for weeks. Why? Oh, nothing, nothing. No reason. I presume you've told Duncan about your change of mind? Uh, well, no. Do you want me to tell him? No, no, I'm not sure how he'll take it. <laughs> Seeing as he's convinced I forced him to have it done in the first place. He'd be bloody furious, I should think. Yes, quite. So, I think the best thing is just not talk to him about it for a while. I somehow don't think that'll be possible. <laughs> How was it for you? Oh, uh, not too bad. Uh, you know, I had the weirdest feeling I thought you might have chickened out. Oh, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Mind you, had I known how much that spray was going to hurt, I might have done. Yeah. It's terrible, eh? Oh, awful. Oh, it looks like water felt like sulfuric yeah. acid. Yeah, poor it. Oh, dear. 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 O
You're overacting a bit, aren't you? What? Well, it's painful, isn't it? <laughs> not really. Oh, well, not really. Be tender. Yeah, be tender. Ah. <laughs> oh. What's all that about then? Just practicing for Geraldine. Oh. They wanted to think I didn't suffer. <laughs> you won't tell her, will you, Dick? Any information I have about my patients, I treat in the strictest confidence. Oh, good. Good. So, anyway, Master Surgeon, apart from a slight touch of the Hopalong Cassidy's, I'm feeling extremely sprightly. So, uh, Wink and she and I, um... You know? Well, you'll have to be careful until you take the test in a few weeks' time. But personally, I absolutely forbid any of my patients to indulge in any erotic activities for at least a week. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, it tends to bring out the bruising. You can look like Gonzo from The Muppet Show. <laughs> Think about it. Yes. Oh, yes, I, I suppose you're right. Ooh. Yes, and in my experience, Gonzo is not the sort of character many women tend to fantasize about. Oh, dear. And Geraldine's prepared a special dinner and everything. I'm the pud. Mm. Well, never mind, Duncan. I, I'm suffering with you on this one. It's total abstinence from now on. Thanks, mate. That's all right. You know, here's me complaining. It must be far worse for you. You know, when you go through something like this together, it really shows you who your mates are. Yes. Cheers, mate. Oh, and you remember what I told you about not having any soul? Yeah. I was wrong. Oh, thank you. It wasn't Louis Armstrong, it was Duke Ellington. At least I think, anyway. <laughs> See ya. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. You're going to have to tell him. Yeah, all right, all right. In time, in time. Ah. Dick? Yes? Paul A. Yes? He'd be looking for his dream girl, I should imagine. Oh, where the hell is he? Morning. Oh, morning. Ah, good. Now we can get going. Where? The clinic. What clinic? Oh, I don't believe it. You haven't forgotten, have you? Forgotten what? Today is the day we have declared a sperm-free zone. <laughs> we have to get our specimens to the clinic before ten o'clock. Didn't you read that stuff Dick gave you? Um... You haven't uh, told him, have you? I don't believe it. Tell um, me what? Dick forgot to give me the stuff to read. I never forget things, Paul. Uh, I mean, I forgot to read the stuff Dick gave me. Oh, well, I read it. And what it says is that the clinic is only open on Tuesdays and Fridays between 9 and 10. Yeah. And the specimens have got to be there within two hours of being produced. Right. So, uh, look, Duncan, come on. Yeah. Hurry up. Just one thing, Duncan. I'll see you down by the yeah. car. Duncan, just hang on a minute. Come bit. on. Duncan! Oh. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> what am I going to do? <gasps> Follow me. <laughs> There we are. Take that. <laughs> you three? Duncan won't know the difference. Mind you, what the laboratories will make of you, God alone knows. <laughs> hey, thanks, Dick. Oh, God, they're all brewers. Which one was it? I don't know. Where's the address? Uh, on the paper. Where's the paper? Oh, back at the hospital. Oh, wait, there, that's the one. Oh. Come on. Come on. Oh. Come on. Come on. Damn. Oh, look, I don't think it's... Don't look at your watch. We're not going to make it, you know. Oh, really? Stop looking at your what? I don't believe it. Oh, what a shame. Open up. Open up. Oh, God. Oh. I can't go through all that again. No, neither can I. I believe we might here. They might come back in a minute. What if they don't? It'll be completely wasted. There's not much else you can do with it, is there? <laughs> hmm. Duncan, are you ever going to talk to me again? Yes, I am. Right now. No, no, Duncan, Duncan, no. Oh, no. Let's get this straight. First, oh, Duncan. you do the silly walk for, what, three days? Then, oh, 
For a week, you pretended you had the gonzos, then the next two months, you don't say anything. And then, this morning, you nearly give us both a heart attack just to deliver a jar of brill cream. Is that right? Yes. Nice one. Just what I would have done. <laughs> but what I want to know is why. Because I thought you'd be really knocked. Well, I might have been earlier, but now I'm incredibly impressed. Well, why have you been sulking all day? Just to make you feel guilty. <laughs> anyway, what made you chicken out? Well, I suppose in a way it's uh, what you said. Me? Yeah, that night. With the babies. What? About having no soul. Oh, yeah, actually, uh, I've been thinking about that. Yeah? Mmm, mmm. Yeah, I think it might have been Fat Swallow, not Duke Ellington. And whoever it was, he was right. In some ways, I suppose I'm a bit pathetic. And you're right. I do avoid responsibility. Maybe I would like to have babies. Well, maybe just one. Before it's too late. I mean, you've done all that. Mm-hmm. Never again. No. But you've definitely got something that I haven't. A bloody great mortgage. No, something else. It's called family. <laughs> and another thing, Duncan. You know you said I might meet somebody, maybe next day. Mm-hmm. Well, I did. Sort of. Oh, yeah. Who is she? Well, that's it. I don't know. Oh, God. I can't find her. It's almost as if she never existed. Don't even know her name. Okay, Annabelle, you're in my secretary and uh, we'll make an appointment. Duncan! Hmm? Th th that's her! Annabelle! Th that's her, Duncan! Annabelle! Oh. Richard, you told me you hadn't taken on any new female patients. I haven't. Then who the hell was that? Not female, old boy. Mr. Patterson. What? You mean... Annabelle isn't Annabelle. Not until after the operation, no. <laughs> She's Arthur. <laughs> oh, you're losing your touch, old boy. <laughs>